All right, we are here today for the biggest show of the year. AEW presents oh, all this is out. The biggest show the- hold on, hold on. You can't say the money. We had Wrestle Kingdom two nights with people. That was the biggest show of the year. Okay, but here's the thing. When when WWE is like, oh, the biggest show of the summer, the biggest show of the year, like WrestleMania. Like, you know what? This is AEW's WrestleMania. All out is AEW's WrestleMania. No, WrestleMania is WWE's all out. So you know what? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, this is the show of the year. It's the biggest show of the year. It was supposed to be in Chicago. But no, we're all supposed to go. Well, I wasn't supposed to go, but then I was going to go because everything got canceled. They open up that border. I might or may or may not be in Jacksonville for a Saturday. So the matches, you have to, when you pick the winner, you have to consider uh, that it was supposed to be in Chicago because that has, that has a purpose. So we're going to start off with the pre-show, the buy-in as you will. We got Big Swole with the returning Britt Baker who did a, a, like a, a $1,000 kick to the face with those Jordan 1 Chicagos. I mean, she's back. She's better than ever. She's going to win this match. She's going to win the next 10 matches. She's going to eventually go after the AEW Women's Championship. Justin, what do you think? She's probably going to win this match. I wouldn't let her lose this match, especially her ever act of her like, you know, being such a heel mm-hmm. and being out for so long. I don't know. Why would you bring her back just for her to lose? I don't know. All right, that's what I think. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Swole is not ready for the big push yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really think that Britt Baker is, like, legit. Like, the next big match she has will be for the title. So, yeah, I'm, not just, sense. I'm not just saying that. So Shida? Yeah, that makes sense. We got Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara in a broken rules match. If Hardy loses, he must leave AEW. Um, I mean... So, pretty much, this is a must win for Matt Hardy. I don't think he's going back to is it a Is it a must win or a can't lose? I don't know. Can't lose or must win. I don't know. But, like, I don't think he's going to. He would. He left at the beginning of the year, WWE, to go to AEW and debuted, what, like, two weeks after the pandemic starts when no fans are there? I don't think after six. I don't think he's going to be there just for six months just to go back to a. Well, the only wrestling company you go to is WWE because every other co- an impact, like every other company, just like you're not going to be making money. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, let's break kayfabe here for a second. Um, what if he loses the match and then he quote unquote leaves AEW and then he just becomes like a backstage producer and then maybe in like a year or six months he's just back again. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe, but I don't. I don't think. Why would they do that? Why would they just be like, "I'm leaving, then I'm coming back"? Well, that's if he just, loses, they're not going to kick him out of the company. I don't know. He you know says, what I mean? I'm leaving. I don't think he's leaving. There's no way he's leaving. I think. I think Matt Hardy's winning. I mean, it would make sense. I'll go with Matt Hardy to win. But if he does lose, then we know what happened. Uh, we yeah. got Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus versus the Young Bucks. A t- regular tag team match, uh, exciting tag team match because I don't think these two have ever wrestled, at least not on like you know, on TV. So this is, this is not a five star or bust match. This is definitely a four star or bust match, and I definitely think uh, the Young Bucks are winning. So go with your the everyone turning heel. Young Bucks have to win. Yeah. So <laughs> after that match that they had, where Jurassic Express. And the Young Bucks ta- like tag team together on AEW this past week. Um, the Bucks kind of walked out of the ring, and they were like, you know, they didn't want to raise their hand with everybody else, and it looked a little heelish. So, uh, friend of the show, Tommy, he said, I think by the end of All Out, all of the OG elite. So that's like the Bucks, uh, Hangman, Kenny, Cody. They're all going to be heels, and honestly. It couldn't have made more sense. The Bucks are going down that path. I feel like they've been going down the path for a long time. Um, Kenny is going to be the cleaner. If you watch Being the Elite at the very end, 
uh, Kenny is looking in the mirror, and then it cuts to him with the cleaner glasses on. Um, so that's huge. Uh, obviously, Hangman has been you know going heel for a long time now. Um, so I think Co- Cody's dead. Hangman's not going to go heel on its own. He's going to be with everybody. Yeah. So. How about Cody? Is Cody going to come back babyface and be like, what the hell? Well, I think Cody's dead still. So I don't know what he's going to do. Um, he might be in like the, he might be a part of like that Dark Order match that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, Cody, uh, I, I don't, as far as we know, like he's just dead. You know what I mean? I don't think Cody's coming back for all out. But yeah, what's the next yeah, match? I, I think the Bucks are winning, by the way. I think so too. Um, but talking about the Dark Order match, you got Brody Lee, Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, and Colt Cavana versus Matt Cardona, Scorpio Sky, and the Natural Nightmares, Dustin Rhodes, and QT Marshall. Okay, so Brody Lee's going to pin QT Marshall. That's how it's going to end. Absolutely. I think, um, like, there's no way. Unless unless Cody does come back, which I think is too early after getting him getting just destroyed. Yeah. I feel like it's too early for him to show up. I feel like it should be um, drawn out longer. Um, I, unless he does come back, they're winning, but they're, I don't think he's going to come back, so the Dark Order is winning. I could either see Birdie Lee pinning QT Marshall, or I could see Matt Cardona pinning, like, Cole Cabana. Oh, no, 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 no. Birdie Lee's pinning um, the natural, sorry. You think so? Yeah, makes more sense. The natural. I don't know. I mean, uh, there's a lot of different options. Is eight man tag, so anything is possible. Speaking of many options, we got the 21 man casino battle royal. Winner receives a future AEW World Championship match. I mean, let me go through this list real quick. Darby All In, Lance Archer. Brian Cage, Ricky Starks, Pentagon Jr., Ray Phoenix, The Butcher, The Blade, Eddie Kingston, Sean Spears, Billy Gunn, Austin Gunn, Jake Hagar, Santana, Ortiz, Let's Go Chuck Taylor, you're the best wrestler in the world, Trent versus TBD. This might be might be the best match on the show, I'm not going to lie, with all those people in the match. I mean, this is going to be awesome. Like the pre-show match... Like if you don't want to, if you want to see the best match on the show, don't care about anything else. AEW, the pre-show match might be the best match of the whole night. I don't think this is the pre-show. Well, it's not. I think, according to Wikipedia, and Wikipedia we know is the greatest, um, it's on the actual show. So, okay. Well, if I'm, if I'm if it's on the actual show, it's the best pay-per-view match of the night. I think. I'm going with Eddie Kingston or TBD. I think match. it's going to be Derby all in. To get you a think so? Mm-hmm. Against MJF? No, against uh, Mox. Really makes you think. So we got the women's world championship match Sheeta versus Thunder Rosa. I have a feeling. Oh, man. I was, I was going to say Thunder Rosa, I, her title looks like a commemorative title. It, it looks. Interesting that title belt. What is that title from? MWA. Okay, it's an interesting the belt. Group, the wrestling group. Um, I like. I instinctively want to say that Thunder Rose is going to win, but I think that Sheet is going to win, and then Britt Baker is going to like do something after the match. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I think Sheet is going to retain. There's no way. Uh, well, there's not no way, but. Yeah, you know, there's no way she's winning. I'm going to be watching with Tommy, so she is going to win, and then I'm going to like stand up, and then Britt Baker's going to come out and attack her. Like, and then you're going to turn around, and be like, "Who's your favorite wrestler now?" Exactly. So that should be awesome. You know, one of the best heels in the business. And speaking about one of the best heels in the business, Kenny Omega and Adam Page, the tag team champions versus FTR. I mean. I feel like we know what's going to happen here. But then again, I don't know what's going to happen Everyone's here. Everyone's thinking new tag champs. I feel like if you ask anyone, new tag champs. Like, I, if, yeah. you want, if there's a lock of the night, it's new tag champs. I think so, too. I mean, FTR, like, 
they are a real tag team, so they can really carry this you know division and carry the titles. Um, so here's the thing. I feel like okay, like I feel like Kenny and uh, I, I feel like the easy answer would be Kenny turns on Adam Page and then like you know mm-hmm. like th- that's like the thing because I don't think Adam Page is going to turn again like you know what I mean like I think Kenny has to be the one to to do the deed if you know what I mean yeah because uh, one of the things that um, Tommy was saying was if Kenny costs them the match so like he you know he he attacks or you know he he punches Adam Page and then you know FTR pin Adam Page and win the tag titles and then Kenny in the main event comes out as the cleaner and like you know like after Moxley wins he you know like goes after him as the cleaner so yeah but that's we'll get uh, to that second I don't I think FTR is gonna win I think this has I don't know if we were live this would be like the five stars or buffs match but I said yeah I don't know I don't think any match could get like a per not a perfect score but it it doesn't get that hype when there's like a ton of people mm-hmm. even though there'll be people there cheering it's not the same as being like a packed crowd oh yeah there's there's no no chance it's gonna be what it could have been if it was in Chicago uh, but this next match, I mean, like, talk about five stars or bust. Jericho versus Orange Cassidy in a Mosa Mayhem match. The match can be won by pinfall, submission. None of that's going to happen because you know it's going to throwing be the opponent into a tank of Mimosa. I mean, the is match, this the greatest honestly, match? If this is WCW, it's going to end in submission because of Swerve, but this is. They're not building that Samosa thing, and no one's not going to throw it in. <laughs> I mean, that's going like, to be awesome. I feel like people are hating this match, but it's what not WWE, mean? so I give all my faith in AEW for this to probably to be great to amazing to watch. And Jericho's definitely losing. My expectations are so high for this match. It's like it's unreal. It's unreal how high my expectations are. And mm-hmm. the fact that, like, you got Jericho, who's the bubbly guy, versus Orange Cassidy, like, the, and you got to, you were able to make a match off of a drink. Like, my mind is blown. My mind is blown. This match is going to be awesome. My, my expectations are through the roof and the match. I'm reading this stuff on Twitter, talking about Mimosa Mayhem. Like, I'm marking out like bananas. I haven't even seen it yet. Like, this is going to be awesome. I'm... So excited for this match. Uh, Orange Cassidy winning, hundred percent. Uh, one hundred percent freshly squeezed. Um, then, main, main event. Yes, sir. MJF number With one Wimbo. versus number one, the champion versus the challenger, both undefeated. Who's gonna win? There must be. There must be one loser. Moxley is banned. And there from using only the could be one shift. champion. He can't use the paradigm shift. Yeah, he's building up that submission move for the past couple of months. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay, hear me out here, Justin. Um, here's what I'm thinking. So this, if this show was in Chicago and everything was normal, I think MJF wins 10 times out of 10. I thought it was going to be the same thing because. They, I don't know if you know this, Justin, but AEW only changes titles at shows that are in Chicago. Yeah, I know, the world right. title. Illinois, apparently. So, so, um, I for the longest time was like MJF is definitely going to win. Since then, I there's like a million other different things. The thought of Kenny costing. Or like Kenny coming out after when Mox like Moxley winning and then Kenny coming out to, you know, challenge Moxley kind of thing. Um, also, um, I think the only person talking about this is me. If Wardlow costs MJF the title, 
and then they go on a feud with MJF versus Wardlow. Um, that could be a thing. And then, I, go ahead. I think the thing with MJF costing um, Wardlow costing MJF the title happens, and Kenny Omega coming out and challenging Mox to set up the full gear rematch for one year later, because one year ago. If they had the match at full gear, it would be the cleaner versus Mox and that unsanctioned match, right? The match that never happened. Mm-hmm. So the rematch will be them sanctioned for the title. Cleaner Kenny versus John Moxley. Part and, two. Uh, yeah, I'm in. Let's get that. And then Kenny wins the title. And Wardlow. And the, and the, and the big, and the, uh, what is it? The bout machine. And Wardlow is. The next future star. Warlow's going to turn baby face and toss MGF out of the title. I was like, it's a Batista turn. Or I, he tossed him, but it's going to be a slow turn. So he doesn't turn face right away. If you. People want him to beat up MGF so bad. If you saw the way that he looked at that title, my God. I mean, something's there. They, so, they don't. So you know, we're. we're Triple H holds out the title and Batista looks at it and then looks at Triple H and then that's it. I mean, I mean, I don't even like they don't do like they do things for a reason in AEW. And if he just took the belt and handed it to MJF, that'd be a different story. But he looked at the belt and looked at it for a long time and then gave it to MJF. Really makes you think. That's all I'm saying. Wardlow, future champion. We are a pro Wardlow podcast, and we have been since day one. Since and February, since March 1st. I've been a pro Wardlow supporter since November. I mean, this, I'm very excited. Like, it's going to be awesome. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. That's it. That's all you can say. We're out of here. And, and still... AW champion John Moxley and new tag team champions FTR. And we're out of here. That's it. I'll talk to you in the next one. After the show. Mm-hmm.